there. Welcome back to Scrap and Coffee. Uh, so part four for the Amethyst Gatefold mini album. Um, yeah, I've prepared some pieces for page number four, but I want to um, get in the book for a second before we start. Um, first of all, like I said, I'm going to work on decorations. Uh, the page number seven is already on my hinge. And I am going to place page number six on the hinge here just to show you how I do it. I show you in almost every project where I use a binding system uh, how I do it. Um, for the shorter pages, th this is a complete binding pocket, like a tunnel page. And this is the front side of the page. This is the back side of the page with the stack pocket. And the binding is right here where we stayed away about one eighth of an inch with our flap. So we are going to find that large pocket there. Put our hand in, you can remove this for a second if you like. And I'm just going to give it a try fit on the hinge. Although it should fit, but at this moment you can make some adjustments if you need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up all the way to the start of my taper and I can still see my little pencil marks there a little bit. So that helps me as well. And that makes sure that I'm going straight on the hinge so it fits. Then I'm going to remove the tape backing here on one side only. That's how I prefer to do it. And then without sticking it down yet, bring it to that starting point of your taper. On top and bottom and when you've got it where you want it, then I'm going to push down on it. Bring it over to the other side. <laughs> Sorry, it's my daughter. And then remove the tape back in here. <laughs> and I'm going to give that a gentle burnish there. And then that page is on the hinge. So that's what you're going to do for every page. You're just going to find your binding pocket, make sure it's in the right orientation and then place it on your hinge. And then we also worked on seven, six, page five. Let me get those back in there. And I am in doubt for page number five, because what I did was and this is going to be the front of the page. It's going to be right here. And this is the back of the page. So again, I've done some decorations already. What I'm worried about for this page is the fact that when I want to close my next page on top of it, it's going to catch onto this. So what I was thinking is making an additional flap for a seven by five photo in the landscape direction, that's kind of going to prevent that. So I'm going to add that to page number five. So let's start with that. So this flap, of course, it's going to be in the cutting guide, um, is uh, five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And on the seven and three quarter inside, I've scored it at half an inch. And I'm going to apply my tape. That's what I prefer to use, three eight inch tape on the dented side of the score line, between the cut edge and the score line. And then I'm going to fold towards the bump and burnish that. So I'm going to place it here on the outside. I was at one and three quarters from the bottom. I'm going to make a little tick mark. So Again, this is page number five, where I'm adding an extra flap. So hold it in place and then stick it down. So I think it's going to be a little better. Um, yeah, I am kind of worried that I'm bulking up my pages a little too much, but we'll see about it. Okay, so that can go to the side. I have to finish decorating it. So now on to page number four. We have two more pages to go. And I've started with a concept in my mind. So 
again for the base page just like the uh, previous short page one piece eight and three quarters by six and a quarter and one piece nine and three quarters by six and a quarters and on the nine and three quarter inside we've scored at half an inch and i'm going to fold and burnish on those score lines and we're going to place them on top of each other and then what we are going to do is make two photo flaps here these pieces measure six and five eighths by four and a quarter and on the six and five eight inch side we've scored at half an inch and we are going to fold and burnish those score lines So this will be attached on this flap um, and we have to spread out the uh, we don't have a lot of room but we're going to stay away about 1 16 of an inch from the bottom 1 16 of an inch from the top and then we also should have a little bit of space between our photo flaps but what i also want to do on both of these pockets uh, flaps are create some pockets so for that you're gonna have but i'm going to try out one first and see how it looks you're gonna need a piece a larger pocket it's going to be a side pocket and this one measures five and a quarter by four and three quarters and on the five and a quarter inside we scored on two sides and on the four and three quarter inside we scored on one side miter the corner so we are going to cut at a 45 degree angle across our score lines where they meet or you can do it in any other way you prefer of course it's not I'm not always consistent with how I do it in this case I'm doing it like this to really reduce the bulk as much as I can so I'm folding on all three score lines then I'm gonna get one flap let's get this to the side for a second I have my folded edge of the large photo flap on my left hand side and this is how I'm going to lay the pocket on top of there. Flaps like this we are going to line it up with the folded edge so I'm going to turn it the folded edge is on the bottom now for me and I'm, you can do this however you think it's easiest to do of course I'm lining it up with the folded edge there along the edge on top or in this case the sides and place it so now when I open the flap here this is what we have then I have also a smaller pocket that measures five and a quarter by two and a half inches and again on the five and a quarter inch side we scored on two sides and on the two and a half inch side on one side turn this piece over to the bumpy side and what I did here because I want to add, keep on adding acetate have that come back on my pages on the three sides with a score line I scored a pencil line one inch from the cut edge so you line up your ruler with the one inch mark and draw your line on all three sides with a score line and then we have a, we are going to make a u-shaped frame so this is what we've got out now then i have a piece of acetate and let me think about that measurement it's four inches by one and seven eight of an inch tape on three sides and we are going to place that right there make sure that our cut edge here is nicely lined up and i like to place it like this so i can really line up that cut edge there we go and then i carefully burnish on the tape so now we get this piece back in so we have our flap with the folded edge on the left and the pocket with the opening here and then this pocket is going on top of the pocket that we've just placed right there Now 
Nice. Yep, I like that. So the reason I only did one right now is because I was thinking like maybe you want to do it like this. You could also just leave it at, at one flap and don't do the other one. Because um, I was thinking like maybe you can also do one on the inside. But the, the thing is, this creates some bulk here. You have three layers on top of each other. And then you might want to give this flap a little gusset. You know what I can do for you is I can try it and see what that does. You know, it doesn't really matter if you have some extra bulk underneath here because you also have your bulk here. So I'm going to try it for you and I'm going to tell you if you want or may not want to do it. Prepare those pockets. And here is my flap. So I'm going to place it. Now my uh, flap here is on my right hand side. And then the first pocket is going to be placed like this. And here you do want to stay away at least one eighth of an inch from your fold line. Because we are going to create that bulk underneath there. It's really important. So that's why I'm showing you the attachment. Yeah, I'm going to turn it around. I'm sorry, I don't want to confuse you, but I'm going to, it's easier for me for attaching. So the flap is on my left hand side. This is what the pocket looks like on the bottom. And I'm going to stay away at least one eighth of an inch from my fold line. Line it up along the bottom here. Bring it to the top. And now I really have to think so that I place the pocket right. Yes, so this pocket is going, it's going to place be placed like this. So we open it like this, and now this pocket is going to be right here. So here we can line it up with the edge of the pocket on three sides okay now that does create some bulk but i think it's fine you just have to decide for yourself if that's something that you like or dislike i'm going to use it i'm going to start with placing the first flap and I am because I'm so close to the edge I am going to taper this half inch so stay away about 1 16th of an inch from your bottom of your binding page you don't have a lot of room to make these two flaps fit underneath each other on this page. So you could also go all the way to the bottom if you feel more comfortable. Move it in place. Stick that one down. Now I'm going to turn it around upside down so I can see what I'm doing. Again, I'm going to taper this because I am so close to the edge. And again, about 1 16th of an inch from the bottom from this view, but that's actually the top of the page, right? And then we have some spacing in between our flaps, and that's what I want. Yes, you know what I like about this, doing it like this? We can place a 6x4 photo on here if you want. You can also do something smaller, of course. But keep in mind, you might need to trim it down a little bit, the 6x4, just a hair, because these flaps are just like six and one eighth of an inch so you might need to trim it a little bit but you can do that and then you can place photos in this pocket um, a four by four could fit but it's going to be tight on the sides if you want to have a like a photo mat behind it 
so that, that fits in there without going over but if you want it to go over let's say you do a little larger photo mat then it will hold the flap down as well so that's uh, yeah, you can put something in there that's a little longer do I have another six but yeah I need to make some extra photo mats but you could do this as well and in here you can do a cropped six by four again so that's I think it's playful this page like this then on the inside I'm not doing anything because of the bulk I'm going to leave it like this you can place photos here maybe make a pocket out of the pattern paper that's what something that I like to do so this will be the front of the page the binding again is here on my right hand side you have that one eighth of an inch space there okay three pieces we're gonna make two photo flaps where we can fit a seven by five photo so these pieces are seven and a quarter by five and three quarters and i'm going to score on the five and three quarter inside half an inch but i prefer to do that on the other side so that would be five and a quarter and we have two of those and then I hope this measurement is right. I'm going to check later on. This piece measures seven by four. And on the seven inch side, I'm going to score half an inch on both sides. So that's half and six and a half. And on the four inch side, half an inch. So I'm going to do that at the three and a half inch mark. And I'm going to fold and burnish on those score lines. Now you don't necessarily have to place a large photo on here, of course. What I also like to do on these larger flaps is create a tuck space or a small belly band where you can put something behind, show off your decorative paper. It doesn't have to be a large photo. Um, but I think it's really nice in this album that we have that opportunity. So um, let's see, are we going to center them and have them like this or you can also off center them yeah I'm gonna go three quarters from the bottom let's start with this one where I can just line it up with the edge and I just like to make a little tick mark for myself to guide me so double check yes this is the side where I can go all the way to the edge And then for the other one, remove the tape backing slightly, line it up with your first flap, just place it on top and make sure that you don't go all the way to the edge, they weigh about one eighth of an inch. Make sure you line up on top as well. And then stick it down. There we go. Now, before I do anything else, let's measure that I did this right because I'm going to place a pocket in between here, but we want to stay away in between your score lines. I've made it six and it will fit, but it's going to be close. I've done five eighths of an inch from the, this is the bumpy side facing me now. Uh, draw a line on my left hand side with the score line here one and one eighth of an inch in so that makes a five eight inch frame here one and one eighth of an inch from the bottom and then i've measured this is going to be two and three eighths of an inch from that pencil line there and that's a weird measurement but what i did is i found the center of the piece in my case it's seven and so at three and a half and three and a half and that's where i've placed the uh, line centered on the piece okay cut out that square piece let's measure the acetate And we're 
going to do the same thing. I'm lining up my cut edge, making sure there is no tape overhang on the inside of the frame. And drop it on there. Miter again. And fold and burnish. Now that's a fun pocket. Okay, open up your flaps. I'm going to place it on the bottom. Oh, it fits. Yeah, that fits. So let's just keep it at seven to uh, make it easy for everyone. I have enough space between those flaps. But, you know, because I stayed away here, if you stay away a little bit further from here than I've done, just, you know what you have to do? Open up your flaps, measure the space that you have in between here. And like in my case, it's like six and one eighth of an inch. So I've made my pocket, uh, when it's folded, six. Add one inch to it for, for your uh, flaps. So that's why I've cut the piece to seven. If you don't, if you, for instance, you only have six inches between your score lines, then go for a pocket that's going to be five and seven eighths of an inch. So you add one inch to it. That's going to be six and seven eighths of an inch. That's how you're going to cut your piece and score the half inch on both sides. So just measure and make sure that you have, it's going to fit in between there. Just to make, be sure for yourself because it would be such a waste if you make the pocket and it's not gonna fit. So I'm going to line it up with the bottom and have my eyes on those score lines. And I'm going to burnish it on there. So that's going to be it for this page. Uh, so this is page number four. One more page to go. Okay, last page design. And as you can see, I've prepared some pieces again. And uh, let's see, let's start with this one. So this will be page number three in the cutting guide. So we are going to start with a piece that measures eight and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And we are going to make a stack pocket on here. And this is going to create your binding as well. So this piece is nine and three quarters by three and a half inches. And on the nine and three quarter inside, we've scored at half an inch. Turn that over to the bumpy side. And what I did is on one side, I have draw a frame, a five, eight inch frame. So I will talk you through what I did. On the bottom, I have a score line here. I draw the line one and one eighth of an inch from the bottom. And I feel that my line is not straight at all. So let's do that again. And then on the sides, again, five, uh, this no score line, so five eighths of an inch from the cut edge. And then I've turned my piece, searched for the center, and the center will be four and seven eighths of an inch from your sides. See, my zero is right there. And then I went a quarter of an inch back. And I marked that and drew the line. So the space between these two lines here is three and a half inches. And I'm going to cut out that frame. There we go. And then I had a piece of acetate that measures four and a quarter by two and seven eighths. Taped it up on all four sides. And we are again on the bumpy side 
place that over that window. And now we can fold and burnish on our score lines. So get your base piece back in. Now I want to have my window for this piece on the bottom. So my binding is going to be on this side. And I'm going to place it with the window on the bottom and line that up on those three sides. And two. Then our next piece is going to form a stack pocket here. So this piece is nine and three quarters by three. Let me check that. Yeah, three inches. On the nine and three quarter inside, you scored on both sides, and on the three inside, on one side, half an inch. Tape only goes on the short side. Turn it over to the bumpy side. Now I have my window on the bottom. So when I have my piece here lying in front of me with the bumpy side facing me, my score line is on my right hand, right hand side here. Then I draw the frame on the bottom. So when I flip it over, the frame, the window is going to be on the top of the piece. What I did here is, uh, again, I did a 5 8 inch frame on the side. So here I draw the line 1 and 1 8 of an inch from the cut edge. On the bottom, on the long side, I did 1 inch from the cut edge, just because that visually looked better to me. So that's, here you have half an inch and here you have 5 8 of an inch. But I wanted to be cohesive with this as well. And then again, I searched for that center. So that's four and seven eighths of an inch and went a quarter of an inch back. So the space between my lines is again three and a half inches. And this frame is going to form a U shape again. So again, I'm going to cut that out. There we go. Then we have a piece of acetate that measures four and a quarter by two and three eight of an inch. And I've taped it up on three sides so we can line it up again with that cut edge. Okay, now because it's going to be a stack pocket, we're not going to miter like a normal pocket, but I like to cut here on my short side up to the intersection with a really slight angle. And then with an angle from the bottom, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing here, slight angle. And with a normal angle right there. And then you're going to fold on your side. Short interruption there, but we are only going to fold on the side flaps. That was, was what I was saying. And burnish on that. I'm curious how this is going to end. I've never done this before with the two windows in a uh, stack pocket. So get your piece in that we've just made. I'm going to turn it around again. And we are going to shove this piece inside that other piece. And make sure it fits over like that. Now I have a little... There. Fix that. Little thingy. So it is going to stop automatically at your score line. There we go. So stack pocket. Now this is going to close up because the binding is going to be there. So that's, um, that's not an issue. I wanted to do the U shape here as well. But the problem was that was going to make your matting process pretty difficult. So at least I think that was going to be really difficult. So I think this is easier. Then I have one large flap, uh, seven and three quarters by seven and a quarter. And on the seven and three quarter inside, I've scored at half an inch. And this photo flap will give you the opportunity for a seven by five photo, either in the landscape or the portrait direction. So tape on the dented side, 
hold and burnish on your score line and I'm going to place that flap on the side here centered and so it's going over your um, stack pocket and then I believe I need to do that three quarters of an inch to make it centered so I'm going to mark the three quarters of an inch from the bottom there we go so this will be the front of the page oh, am I saying that correctly? the binding is going to be there so it's the back of the page so I'm going to start with two additional flaps on the front of the page so I have one piece that is eight and three quarters by six and three quarters and I've scored on the six and three quarter inch side let's apply tape for that on the bumpy side I'm gonna place this in the binding pocket and then I have a flap that is eight and three quarters by four and three quarters and I've scored on the four and three quarter inch side and for this one we are going to put our tape on the dented side like always and let's miter those corners so on this larger flap your tape should be on the inside of your flap and for the smaller one the tape is going to be on the outside of the flap now let's get the page back in this is what we just did the binding is here flip it over so the binding is going to be on our left hand side get your larger flap and give it a try fit at least that's what i like to do and that fits so i'm going to remove my tape backing and place it in there where i can still see the score line you don't have to stay away from it but you still want to be able to see it there we go nice large extra flap there and then the other one is going on this side it's not the binding side so we can line it up with the edge so i'm going to close it this way probably because when i place it in the book i'll show you quickly it's going to be uh, right here on this hinge but it's going to lay like this and then when we close this this is going to be over uh, the opening of the flap so it's no problem with getting it closed that's why the, the flap is larger and that's why i'm placing that one on top you could do it this way of course if you want to it's whatever you prefer so now when i open this we can add a little something okay i have a large piece here eight inches by 12 inches and i'm going to score five and three quarters and then six and a quarter so that's the same as the well it's not completely the same as the back inside cover i'm not applying my tape yet let's see fold on those score lines i want to see how it looks i that's just how i am i need to see things so I fold it on one, just like the waterfall on the back inside cover. This should fit in between your flaps with about one eighth of an inch space on both sides. Okay, I've I'm been up to something weird. <laughs> I am uh, going to make a pocket, but I hope it works. Let's see. Um, this piece measures nine inches by three and a quarter of an inch. And again, I draw that U-shaped frame. 
five eighths of an inch frame so uh, you're going to draw your pencil mark one and one eighth of an inch from your cut edge on the three sides with a score line we are going to cut out that middle piece then i have a piece of acetate that measures seven and a half inches by two and a half inches and i've punched that with my envelope punch board now yeah, be careful with that because my envelope punch board doesn't really like it but um, it's doable so i've punched that and now i'm going to cut out so we have a little slit in that acetate so i'm going to get my um, paper trimmer but just like i would do for chipboard i'm going to change my blade to an older blade because Cutting these sort of things with your blade makes your blade really dull. So I'm going to line that up where I'm going to cut out the middle piece. So you have that slit in there. I don't know how well you can see it, maybe with some background. So that's what I've done. So let's see how this is going to turn out again. <laughs> I've never done it before, but so I'm going to cut out that U shape. There we go. I'm kind of laughing at myself right now. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see if we can place that there. Now you want to have your slits uh, centered as possible, but I'm just going to eyeball it because I have to measure all of that out and we'll be still here tomorrow. Turn it over. Okay, I'm just going to apply my tape. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, now this is what we have created. And this is the flap that I showed you earlier. There's still no tape on there because let's see how this is going to look. Make sure we have it in the right orientation. So I was thinking about placing this on top. Photo flaps, photo opportunity. And then this pocket will go here, but it's, it has to go underneath the flaps. And then because I've made that slit, there is about one eighth of an inch space between the bottom flap and my pocket. And I can place a photo in the pocket while the flaps are closed and keep that in place. So no need for magnets or other closures if you don't want to. And I think this is working out, so let's go for it. If you don't want to do this, if you don't like this, you just you can just make the pocket as well. Then it will be over the uh, of underneath the flaps. But and then you you can use uh, magnets to keep the flaps closed or swing tab or something. So it's not that you're not able to do it if you don't want to do this. So I'm going to start with placing the pocket. Again, I'm going to line it up with the bottom and I'm making sure that I have that about that one eighth of an inch space between both my fold lines. And because I have a little bit of bulk on the back, I'm going to place something on there. Okay, nice. And then we need to place our tape here so it's folded and I'm going to place my tape on that half inch strip. And also lay it open so if you place your tape before folding it goes on the dented side fold on one of your score lines and i'm going to remove the tape back in parsley here and i'm going to line it up with the pocket because it's the same measurement as the pocket kind of funny I don't know if this one will fit yeah 7 by 5 can fit in there okay yeah I don't know how I feel about it but um, 
It's different. Something else. It works. And this can close. So I'm, I'm going to leave it here. That's it for this page. So that completes all the page constructions. Well, I didn't think I was going to make it at some point, but we are there. So still a lot of decorating to do. And we do need to make our photo mats. Now, um, let's see. This one is going to be right here. Um, I have the pocket here, so I'm going to make photo mats. I'm going to put the measurements for that in the cutting guide, but I don't really think you need to see me cut them and make them. So I'm just going to see uh, what I think is going to look good and fit in the in all the pockets, like in this pocket, but also in the side loading pockets of the smaller pages. And I will just write it down with every page. I will write down the um, photo mat measurement in the cutting guide. So I think that th this is it for the construction part of this album. And um, yeah, maybe I've come along something and I think, oh, let's uh, let's film that. Then I will do that, of course. But I think. The next video will be the, the final project share actually so thank you for watching and uh, yeah i hope to see you in the project share enjoy the rest of your day bye bye